Um, mm-hmm. Oh! Oh, oh our, nothing but Step, we are step, make a tragedy, pretty so kill off anyone, what about some? Hey guys, welcome back to Future Strong, and today I have my godbrother Jermaine here. Well, I go on Main, aka Sunny Sun. Hey, so today we're making a jerk salmon, y'all. A nice, so called, you know, it's not really a Jamaican dish, but we have the seasoning on top. So it's like American slash Jamaican dish. We're, we're throwing some jerk seasoning on top of our salmon. And if you don't, if you guys didn't know, I'm Jamaican. My parents are from Jamaica, and I'm from here, from Baltimore. And you know, I love Jamaica. The island is amazing. The food is great. Lovely. You have your oxtail, your jerk chicken, you you know, curry you have chicken. curry chicken, all that Brown stuff, steak. guys, is amazing. Manish so, water. Yes, okay. all that good stuff. So today we're making that. We have our cola champagne, the best. It's just one of the best drinks. I love it. And then we have our plantain chips, organic, being healthy, you know. And then we have some jerk rice. Never had before. Jermaine never had before. Never. We're just trying it today. Some jerk rice and black beans mixed. So this will be cool and interesting to taste. And then we have our peppers and onions seasonings over there. And we have a kale on the side. And then we have some French bread. So this this is gonna taste good. And I'm already smelling the seasoning on the um, salmon already. So I'm excited already. <laughs> I'm hungry, guys. So we're gonna head over to the um, the stove. And while we're cooking, we'll be talking. I'll be talking to Jermaine, and we're gonna be hearing about his journey because he's an upcoming rapper, guys. So he's gonna be telling us who he looks up to, why he started rapping, and all that stuff. So just stay tuned and watch us cook. Yeah. Two, three. All right, so let's get to it. So first, I'm gonna be making the salmon in the meantime while he's making the uh, jerk rice. Yeah. So I'm gonna be putting the onions and the peppers, you know, in the pan first. Ooh. Peppers smell so good. I'm gonna season the peppers a little bit. You get hot? Uh, you get hot? a little bit. Yeah. And I'm about to smell like fried food. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Season up the peppers and stuff. So, so Jermaine, what made you start rapping? Like, what was your reason? Like, um, really and truly, um, my father. Just to, to speak on that because I was just always inspired how my dad mm -hmm. um, ran track. And uh, oh yeah, he did. Yeah, like how he just found kind of his purpose. What he felt like he loved in life and how some of the goals he like you know got in life, you know, just reached in life as far as like going to a top um track school, college, actually being an Olympian from nineteen eighty four from nineteen eighty eight. And um I was born in nineteen eighty eight. Just okay. to give up my government just a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I just kinda felt like from that time on just being in depth. I felt like it was my duty to find my purpose. I found that in music, but I feel like I got more endeavors that I got to embrace on when it's time. Okay, that's good. Okay. So, who do you look up to, like in the um, the, the rapping industry? Like, you have anybody you look up to, like that motivates you to be rapping and stuff? Nah. Uh, well, I honestly, no. Not, wow. not, not really. I mean, rappers are cool. Like I think that where I really started picking my um, my love for music was listening to reggae and dancehall as a child, mm -hmm. and realizing me listening to rap music and embracing both cultures, they're so similar. Right. But I just, as people should know that reggae dancehall is the first organic music to translate how you feel, as far as putting it on sound. Right. Um, so yeah, this is talk on that, not to get off topic. Um, artists, I say like Butcher Bantan, Sizzler, um, some dancehall artists like today, like Popcorn and TJ, and you know, some of the upcoming artists, and, um, but like myself as well. So I think that I, I am breached myself on listening to them and then, you know, finding my own lane. Right. Sometimes I get in, I get mistake for like a UK 
You can, yeah. A UK Jamaican. No, no, you did. You did kind of give me like a UK, like yeah. your vibe, like how you dress and everything. Like, yeah, no, you yeah. kind of do. Or what? Like somebody told you that before, or you yeah, just like so that's from, how you, you, you know you just hear from Jamaicans, then you hear from they say it all over, then you hear from people from the UK. Oh, okay, so, cool. I mean, I embrace it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm racing as we go. Yeah, no, you do give me that vibe, actually. Now you think, you think, you know, you said it right. though. you do kind of give me that UK kind of vibe, like, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, that's why I like some. I mean, but rap is cool, but like, I like a lot of UK rap too. So I'm very alternative. So mm. when it comes to music, is is very, 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 very diverse. Okay. Very diverse. I love, I love to try my hand with singing. Um. So you mix it like you can do the singing and the rapping and everything like that. If it, if the beat is right. Right. If the beat is right. Yeah, okay. You know? So they would, it would take you there. It would take you. If it take you there, yeah. If the emotion is right, then yeah. Uh huh. I'm gonna go for it. Okay. But for the most part, yeah, like I'm very out there. So do you have any like songs or anything out right now? Like do you have any like any uh, features have, or anything have, like? Yeah, I have. I have two features I'm on right now. You can go check out on all streaming platforms. I have a feature with an artist named Three Stripes and my self Sunny Son called Cloud Chaser. Okay. Um, we recently dropped a feature not too long ago with another artist named Artie Shaw, mm -hmm. featuring Sunny Son again, named wow. Backflip. But this year you see a lot more Sunny Son and what he has to bring forth with music. So how important is it to you to bring like your Jamaican culture to like your rap music and everything? Like, why do you really want to bring your culture into your your songs and everything into your um, brand? Because I feel like it's a part of me. Mm -hmm. um, I guess some people don't you know. I don't know many stories been told, but how I grew up. When I'm in my house, it's a different story. When I step outside, it's another. Right. So. Um, so elaborate on that is I grew up seeing two different sides of how the world is raised. And um, I feel like it's important to me because people need to know my story. Right. Of, uh, of a Jamaicans, I feel though, that's out there that have the same story, can relate when they hear minds when I talk about certain things, of uh, certain culture values. And um, the way they were raised to as well, and probably coming to what they consider foreign from God, mm -hmm. and um, you know, just embracing the, the, the American culture as well. But I just really feel like it's very important, so I can teach the world another side of life other than what is looked at probably just through the naked eye. Okay. Yeah, because I love like when people are like, oh, I, I, are you Jamaican? Where are you from? I love when people want to know like. Who are you? Like, where are you from? Because like, when I'm talking, I'm talking yeah. to like, I hear an accent, like I hear something, like, I'm like, oh, my friend's from Jamaica. Like, I love saying, like, yeah. I just love sounding embrace different. It. Like, I'm not just. Uh, like, embrace it because, you know what I mean? People have to go on their computer and just click dot 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 uh -huh. ancestry dot com and get a piece of hair strand and dig in deep. But you that strong, like, you know. Oh, I mean, you were born. Were you born in Jamaica or you were born here? I was born here. I keep thinking that you were born in Jamaica. It's wow. a song story. I guess considered being conceived over there for a little while doesn't really matter. Uh -huh. <laughs> but, um, but uh -huh. this being back and forth, um, man, I tell anybody, man, wherever you from, find out, go back, embrace it. Yeah, no, because Jamaica is beautiful. Like every time I go there, I just love, you know, the bag juice. We got the bag juice. They call it suck suck. They call it suck suck. Yeah, suck. I love uh -huh. the bag juice. It's so good. Um, what is those fruits called? Like, did you suck on this green? Uh, get up, get up, yeah, it's get up, yeah, get up, and um, so drink long. Yeah, I mean, um, the mangoes are totally different. See, I'm not a big man, a mango fan. Mangoes, I'm not a big, like, lovely, I'm not a big fan of mangoes. Lovely. Like, it's just so messy. Every time I see it, it's like it's just too much work. Like, I just can't. Lovely. But no, no. It, sometimes when I do try. I'm like, oh my gosh, mangoes are this, really good. They go on, just go on the streets and then. You find a nice jerk pit. Mm -hmm. Get you some nice jerk. The jerk chicken on the side of the road in Jamaica. Oh my gosh. I don't eat so pork. I, I don't eat pork, but I'm not going to sit up and lie and say it's nasty either. So, mark my words, I'm going to tell you that. So, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, but Jamaica just, Jamaica just hit different. Everything about Jamaica is where you want to be and need to be. Yeah. 
You know how they consider Africa the motherland? Yeah. I consider Jamaica the daughter land. You know what I mean? Because it's like the second it's the second it's the second motherland you wanna be in. Right. Yeah. Salmon yeah. is easy to break, yo. Know? Sure. Salmon breaks so easy, like it's so annoying. I wanna make sure I'm cooking it like red snapper too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I see my cause my dad he always put the peppers at the bottom. He said you have to have the peppers come into the fish though. So I make sure mm -hmm. I put the peppers at the bottom and then I'm putting the salmon on top so everything can like marinate. Important to put your culture into your what you what you're doing, you know? You can never forget where you're coming from. Stuff like that. Go back and then teach values to the ones that you, you put on this earth too as well, you know. Mm-hmm. So when did you, um, how old did you start rapping and rapping? Pretty I've always been rapping but seriously, um Probably when I was like 24. I say I started it because I seriously didn't know how to take this um <clears throat> take this series. Uh -huh. I seriously didn't know how to take this series. <laughs> like for real, because I used to write raps in high school. Probably like what they call um I used to consider them crack raps, you know what uh -huh. I mean? Somebody you might have a problem with in school, you might might write a rhyme about them and then uh -huh. that's how I started. I used to watch videos when I was a kid. I used to always DJ on the mic when my father used to play on his vinyls. Uh. So I kind of always felt like in the way that it was always calling me but I didn't know how to embark on it and okay. embrace it the right way. And then one day I just was, I was just bored. I was like, I'm not listening to music no more. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of it. And I listen to Jamaican music and I'm like, not tired of it, but it's some more of it. Yeah, the not I cut you off though. Yeah, the Jamaican yeah, music and like the regular, it's like a different vibe. Like I just love when I go to clubs and stuff, and I hear them put on like some Jamaican music. Like I'm just like, yes, I'm like that's my song. Yeah. I love hearing Jamaican music. It never gets I, like, old. It's like, it never, it's never yeah. gets old. Like you can listen to something early '90s right now, and you could be a '90s baby, mm -hmm. and you felt like you you embraced it since you was since you was in the womb listening to it. So. It's good music like that never die at all, so. And you definitely gotta um, put me on the new rappers and stuff out there. Yeah, yeah, the right. new song, you know, the new um, artists in Jamaica because I don't even know the locals. Like, I just know no, no. Egyptian, no, no. Vibes Cartel. Yeah, you, like, get vibes. Uh -huh. you can't forget Vibes, yeah. Big what about Popcorn? Like, I just know, like, the regular main, you know, the main people. He knows more than me. Like, I don't even know that it's all these different artists and stuff going on. He says so many different new ones. Popcorn, I get you for not saying the name right. It's pop, oh, yeah. popcorn. You pop said popcorn. I said popcorn. <laughs> I said popcorn. <laughs> pop me out, bus. Popcorn. Pop me out, bus. She call you kind. You're not kind. Popcorn. Popcorn. I said popcorn. I'm crying. Man. No, no, no. He probably be bully mad at me. He's like, nah, but cool though. He said, I'll say it though. It's cool. I'm weak. It's cool. Sorry. <laughs> so, all right, we can, we're about to put the bread in the oven while the rice is steaming, the salmon is still cooking. And then while we're cooking, we're going to be eating our plantain chips, okay? What flavor do you want, you know? What flavor is Okay, so you got, what is this one? I think this one is more green. This one says sweet. I like sweet. I want the sweet. I like, I like plantain chips. It's sweet. Yo, I love when these pop, yo. These are so funny. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna go. I need to look at the instructions. Gotta, um, it's like 350. And a mitt. Huh? A mitt. Um, mm -hmm. Oh! Oh, oh this thing popped in my head! Oh, God. <laughs> See, now I'm just saying I love what I thought. I was ready. I was not ready. I was not ready. Damn. <laughs> Got the time of going. I right, so while everything's still cooking, we're gonna be still talking about everything and eating our plantain chips. So, mine's the sweet kind. Yours, regular green. Yeah, regular green. But I'm gonna definitely want to try one of hers. Yeah, too. I'm gonna try yours yeah. too. Let's see. Let's see. And if y'all don't know, Grace is one of the best brands. Like to get Jamaican food. Like you want to get Jamaican seasonings, mm. whatever. Grace is the best to get. Grace is the best. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think definitely sweet. Mm-hmm. Like sweet, like how like sweet potato. Kind of. Yeah. You're probably gonna be like. Well, yeah. yeah, it is original. Yeah. OG. Yeah. Oh, you got grease everything. Okay. Yeah. Oh, how you got grease everything? So. Grace, the check needs to get cut. <laughs> yeah, for real. Grace, I'm, I'm promoting you real good in my video. So, 
<laughs> Alright, so yeah, Gracie, the seasoning, Gracie's everything. Yeah, like upscale steppers is one of my lingo. What I mean by that, you just move in. Yeah, so what is that step for? Yeah, what is, you want to say? Step. So on step, what does that mean to you? On like, step means to be pivotal in life and always ongoing okay. to a higher point. Um, that's what I believe what high stepper stands for in my in my definition of how I move in mm -hmm. life. Um, I had more so like more slogans like on step is one on step is more so like a a more vibrant going okay upscale steppings is more of like a that like you know what I mean upscale is more so like bro luxury you sitting at you sitting at a better peak in life mm -hmm. so how is it growing up in you know a Jamaican household and then you're saying I'm gonna be a rapper you know most Jamaican parents they want you to be a doctor or something in the Nervous. you know the medical field so how is it I wasn't bringing that to them like all me a rap. Really wasn't too hard. <laughs> my mother didn't put up so much fights with me in school and stuff like that. She just ran to, she ran to, I just, you know, I did something that I loved at for a while. Oh. Um, I think she realized that I wasn't, that wasn't my average go-to mm -hmm. thing. You know, I think that she was more loving that the fact that I found something that I love to do. Oh, um, that's good. And um, encouraged me. Mm -hmm. And it told me just to watch out for the devices and and the people with them that, you know, they could just be wicked-minded, you know? So, how did you come with your stage name, Sunny Sun? Um, this, um, embracing my childhood. Mm -hmm. um, when I was always out with my mom, I was up with my mom everywhere I go, I just hear people say, oh, that's Sonny boy, that's yeah. Sonny's son. So it's just like, my mother name is Sandra. They call her, but Jamaicans always give each other pet names. That's yeah, what they, they consider, do. right? Yeah, they so, do. So the Sonny was Sonny for short, aka my father called her Sharon. That's a whole nother story. <laughs> so, but Sonny, um, I got the Sonny off of that. And Sonny boy, Sonny son is just what I'm running with and going with, you know? Yeah. I guess our French bread is that oh, who's hot, hot, I forgot. Yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> because I was hungry. So we have our jerk salmon, our jerk rice and beans. We have the kale mixed with the peppers and onions. And we have our French bread on the side. So we well, we, we messed up y'all because we should have had our cola champagne in the fridge, oh, but yeah, yeah. So now it's hot. So we have our ice and we're being bougie with our nice wine cups, you know, so whatever. And we're gonna pour it in there. But um, we're going to be eating and talking still, asking questions, you know, and seeing what's going on. So we're going to take the first bite and see how it tastes, y'all, because it's our first bite. Should we pour it and say cheers first? Yeah, we can. Oh, yeah, we can do that. We can do that. Hopefully I can open this, because I usually only can open this with... Oh, oh. oh I got it. Hmm. Usually I need, like, a napkin or something, because it's so, like, sharp. Let's see. Mm. I would get as what they consider bougie and hold my glass. Uh -huh. Let me take my fingers like this. And you know you're supposed to pour like halfway, but listen. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, uh, yeah you, you got the right amount. Like, that's how the wine looks. Oh, looking. Hold on. 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 I haven't had it in a minute. Uh, I haven't had cold champagne in a minute. All right, so let me put this over here so you can see the food. So you can see the food, y'all. All right, let me say a little prayer real quick. You know, say our grace. God is good. God is great. Last day for our food. Amen. Amen. Let's see. Mm. 
Yeah. This is what you call jerk salmon. And I can tell this is grace seasoning too. I can tell this is the grace with a corn jerk. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you finish it off with your, your cooking touch. Yeah. Oh my god. This made me want to cook salmon all the time now. And let me try this kale, y'all. I haven't had. Let me try this kale. Let me see what this kale's talking about. Let me see. Not bad. How's the kale? Refreshing. <laughs> I was like, damn it, is it bad? <laughs> he said, he damn that one. I didn't take my time with it, you know, I was just. Make sure you taste it good. <laughs> it was so good, I couldn't get my words out. Okay, and the rice actually came out good, though. See, the yeah. rice actually came out, even though it was going through a lot, but. The struggle. Mm hmm, come out good. So, how do you process your music? Like, how do you write and pair everything together? Like, how do you come up with your, your, your raps and your songs? It all depends, like. Every song carries a different emotion. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you might hear the beat and the, how the beat process and stuff, but okay. you might don't be in the proper emotion to release it. Right. So I feel like sometimes when I'm in the process and something matches up with the energy that I'm going through right then and there, ah. Uh, I just embrace my topics around your emotion, what you're going through at the time. A lot that I'm going through at the time, a lot that I've been going through at that same that same emotion in the past, mm -hmm. or I could be speaking in third party of a situation I could have been in, right? And it can relate to my next writing pattern when I when I put it on paper. But it really all depends. It really all, it's very, um, very organized, very well planned out. Yeah. So you just spit something for us. We want to hear a little something. Uh, step we are step make a tragedy pretty so kill off anyone walk on son this and grab a ganja a blend fat kitty girl if I word truck a load of them rent me like shabba if it not grace pepper never another atta atta a step on only spit lava this a run cool to them dead like saka rice from the concrete like rosetta reminisce nappy eddy pit knees to me here quick Run through the kitchen, me asking out my teeth. Ali, Grandpa Charlie, Uncle Ten, Uncle Rope, is sit, pang in the to tough a do. They cook out some 30 seconds under this trophy. For the green up is them steppers, steppers in my city. I move, I'm ruling. Why one? Period. <laughs> ah. Thank you. 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 Thank uh, Dang, right. come with the word. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Another cooking video, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. Learn how to mix some jerk salmon. It was amazing, guys. Amazing. It tastes so good. How did you how did you like it? I can't speak this. <laughs> can't even speak. It was good, I'm telling you, it was good. And kale is not a bad guy. So you know, try kale yet if you haven't tried it before. So make sure you guys Check out Jermaine, y'all. Like, he's coming up. I'm telling you, be the first one on him. So when he gets big, be like, oh, I was watching him, girl. I was watching him during his journey. So I will insert all his information in my description, you know, the description box below. His Instagram, his YouTube, any way to contact him, I'm going to put it in the description box below. And make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up and turn your notification bells on, okay? And stay tuned for more videos. I got more videos coming for you guys. So just keep on watching. Stay tuned. See you guys next time. Wait, 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 w